Alright, and welcome back, my little subjects, for more Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE. Uh, we've got Barry, he's joined us on the menu screen now, and... Let's see... We're, we're still here, we're still in Shibuya 106, we're still in f up Shibuya. Uh, what, what do you got for me, though? I don't... Who cares about those? What does that even mean? Dang. So this sucks. What go, what goes on? They're like, oh, there's the entrance right there. Hmm. But this sucks the performa out of people, right? What is it? Why am I so tired? All about? wait, she was a student. I thought she was. Wasn't she staff earlier? We talked to her. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she was staff earlier. Well, what we're gonna do, cause before we head in, we are gonna hit up Jewelry Karabia. Nope. No dark side. There we go. We can enter it. Yep. Check it out. She looks kind of bad, but whatever. As long as I didn't suck all her performa out. At Jewelry Karabia, you can purchase accessories for Itsuki in the cast. Accessories can be equipped like pieces of armor. Check the shop often because they are invaluable inside a dungeon. So, how can I assist? Let's see. Uh, she's mastered Iron Feather. Power Bangle. Raises Strength. Whoa, plus 12? Plus four. So does it... Raises mag. Uh, his strength is kind of good. His magic is garbage, though. Her magic is good. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's plus one. And these are 7,500 yen! Oh, I don't know about that one. No, we're... No, 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 we're good. We're good. So if, if she got a new Performa... That's different from a new Carnage, though, so we're still stuck with the, uh, Mastered Iron Feather, I think. Are we, though? I really hope not. Uh, items. Wardrobe, actually, should be. Change equipment? Yeah. Uh, Iron Feathers? Yeah, still just that. Crap! Dang, Tsubasa's not gonna get much stronger in this dungeon. Uh, Iron Sword... Which we've already changed over to Iron Feather, Iron Spear, which he hasn't mastered yet. Uh. Viewer change equipment. Well, we can change their uh, things now, because. Yeah, they look kind of dumb. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do blue straight. Uh. School life for her. Did we. Did it even tell us that? We got Toma's thing? I don't remember being told that we got Toma's casual days outfit. But whatever. Yeah, so like I was saying, I normally don't use, don't even use costumes because I'm fine with the defaults. But the defaults in this game are just goofy, bro. Like, I'm not sure what you guys' opinion is, but I really just think they look freaking goofy. Uh, let's, is there a way for me to, yeah, I should be able to cross from here back to the front of the thing. And actually, let's... Is Toma anywhere? Where's... We got Tsubasa, but I didn't see Toma. Huh. Oh, well. I need to save my sister as soon as possible. Please, Itsuki, help me. Yeah, dude, we got this. Uh... An entrance to the Idolosphere. What should I do? Okay, so are these... So, the part... The one in Daitama wasn't the Idolosphere. Well, it was the Idolosphere... But we're entering different sections of the Idolosphere, rather than there being like rather than there being like different names for the dungeons. So I guess that makes sense. So this can is this gonna be like Illusory Shibuya 106? Uh, an Alice in Wonderland dress. That's a that's a dark uh, a Casper kind of thing, right? Uh, and a box. No one else, just me. Oh, no, there is everybody else. Yeah. 
Probably in the deepest part. That's what my guess would be. Yeah, dude. Power me up, dude. Yeah, Speed beyond speed. Okay. So in Fire Emblem, in uh, cause I played Shadow Dragon, which is the remake for the first one on the DS. Uh, what is this? Yeah, well, that's what I want to know. Devices called warp portals will appear within a dungeon. Activating multiple warp portals will enable you to teleport to different locations. Note, however, that you cannot teleport to warp portals located in other dungeons, obviously. Warp portals will age when completing a dungeon, so it is best to activate them whenever you find them. Okay, fairly, yeah, fairly straightforward. Uh, and that, that, uh, Mirage actually disappeared, but there was one. Oh, wow! Oh, crap! Uh, but in the first Fire Emblem game, you're given a choice. The very first time I played through... Oh. Just one. Okay. I'm not sure why I showed it again, but okay. Special performances can now be used. Special performances are skills that use the SP gauge located in the upper right of the screen. Special performances can trigger sessions while ignoring affinities, and many have powerful effects unlike any other skills. The SP gauge will fill as you perform actions or connect sessions during a battle. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's in the upper right. Kind of hard to miss. Uh, okay. But yeah, so my the very first time I played through the re uh, Shadow Dragon, I did not use Kane. Uh, if you've played Shadow Dragon, you know why I didn't use Kane, but at the time I had no clue about Jagan characters, so. Uh, let's see. Mm. Or, I shouldn't say I didn't use him, but I didn't have the option to use him. Uh, SP skill ready. I can. How do I activate it? Uh,. Oh, empty wave. This is it. It's single target. Uh, and it'll tell me risk. Artist name and risk. Risk must be something we haven't gotten to yet. Uh, do I need it? Well, let's do it anyways. Carving them, dude. 226. Alright. Uh, attack with the equipped weapon session won't occur. Uh, skewer, fire strike, and poison skewer. Let's try fire strike. Nickel wise, we don't. Like penny wise? Oh, these guys. These guys. Agi. Yeah, Agi on a uh, Toma? Uh, Skewer Tarutaja. Oh, he resists fire! Okay. Mm, can't use Empty Wave, which is fine. Uh, clean. Okay, so it's neutral to Spear, or Lance rather. Let's try a Sword Attack. We got him! Uh, skills. Fizz Lance. It's weak to sword attacks. He can't even do sword, uh, sword attacks. Well, mm, yeah, and I'm not gonna waste, uh, I'm not gonna waste EP on, uh, Nickel Wise. We're just gonna basic attack madness. Got him. Oh, you see that? It says Shibuya 106 in the thing up there. I wonder if it said... It's uh the the pink. You can see it in the upper right corner near the uh, special gauge a little bit. But I wonder if it said that same thing in uh Daitama. If it did, I completely missed it. Oh. Uh she actually huh. Wow, Subasa is level 5 and doesn't have any attack magic yet. Mm. But Itsuki does. 
Yeah. Obtained a play record combat novice. New skill. Skill boost. Okay. Zeo plus one. Wait, did its cost go up? Zeo has powered up. Skill's power increased. Is this okay? Yeah. I'm actually not completely certain HP and EP can be healed with items or skills, as well as by using facilities located in the city, such as the cafe and vending machines. If you feel that the investigation of a dungeon has become too much, it is best to not push yourself any further and return to the city. Nah, dude. Uh, a little bit. Subasa's Carnage ready for Unity. Oh, cool! So, can I go... Uh, we actually want to do that immediately, because... We do not want to go through this whole dungeon with Subasa not learning a single new skill. That, oh my gosh, that would seriously gimp Subasa. And even now, though, even though those levels, like, obviously this is Iron Man mode, we are not going to, uh, we're not going to reroll for stats ever. Why did Toma send me a topic? Kinda of worried about Subasa. Hope she's not too hung up about it. And the Huh. Oh, Tiki! I've installed a really useful new add-on to your topic, big brother. It's a feature called Unity Note. Whenever there's a Unity available, the Unity Note will send you a notification. And then Unity Note, Subasa's Carnage ready for Unity, Wicked Lance. Okay, cool. Uh, oh yeah, and I'm outside, so I can just warp to, uh, or fast travel, rather. Uh, Shibuya new. But we're gonna go to Fortuna office so we can get to the Blue Palace. We can just leave things as they- Did Tiki send me- Okay. Those are- I think those are all the- Yeah. Oh! Okay, so more from Tiki. I have a message from Kidia. You have to chase after Ayaha, um, Oribe? She's in the Idolosphere! Maiko took Kidia to the hospital. You don't need to worry. That was a message from Maiko. Okay, so they're at the hospital at the moment. Like a regular mundane hospital though? Why wouldn't a regular, like, why couldn't Tsubasa just cast Dia and have everything be good? Hmm. Well, I guess... Wait, didn't she get blasted with, like, some magic? Okay, whatever. Radiant Unity? I thought she was gonna talk more about the Wicked Lance we could make. Radiant Unity is a ritual where the entertainment power of performing artists and performa are fused to create Radiant Skills. Radiant Skills are different from normal skills and are useful since they, uh, since they use no skill slots and are effective just by being equipped. For the entertainment... Wait, so what's... Okay, and this is the update about Wicked Lance. Yeah, Sheeta Wicked Lance. Give it a try, yeah. Uh, perform Radiant Unity, why not? Let's do that first. Uh, okay, and it's flipped. Uh, so she told me about it, but I can't... Oh, nope, check that out. Oh, nope. I don't have the performer that I need for that. So I can do it. Wings of Song, Sonorous Baritone. When did we get that? Perform Carnage Unity. Uh, for Sheeta. Wicked Lance. Okay, sure. Yeah. And this is, uh, Sheeta's first Unity. Unity. 
So Sheeta gets to fuse uh, with the, whatchamacallit, all that uh, Performa. The new Carnage Wicked Lance has been made. Uh, most definitely, dude. Tsubasa Oribe equipped Wicked Lance. Through the effects of Carnage Unity, the Mirage awakens to a new skill. Sheeta can now use the special performance Aerial Dance. Okay, cool. Uh, but that's pretty much... So I'm wondering, cause we can, we have the, if I had a one star prestige, I could make another iron feather. I wouldn't, I wonder if there's a, ever a reason why we'd want to be able to make their starting equipment. Uh, that wouldn't, that pretty much be it. We can't actually do radiant unity right now. So we're gonna head back. And then we're gonna tackle, uh, we're gonna tackle this thing anew. Well, we're gonna talk to Toma first. Nana. Just like how people have Performa, cities do too. That's basically what the Idolosphere is. The true form of the city. So, so the bad guys are trying to rob the town's Performa straight from the Idolosphere itself. Oh. But this time, it's not just about beating the enemy, huh? We'd better give it all we've got, for Subasa's sake too. You're right. Dude, I really like Toma as a character. Uh, oh, I can warp directly to, okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's warp directly to Shibuya 106. That is cool, but yeah, it's not often you see someone so hyped up about stuff like that. Uh, I guess, I guess it might take a second, there we go, wait, okay. Okay, I swear to god that chick was uh, working at the thingamabob, but whatever. We're back into the Idolosphere. Uh, Tsubasa is more dangerous than ever before. And now we're gonna go ahead and kill some Mirages. In earnest. Alright, Mirage, come here. Oh, wait, what was it? It was X, right? Got him! Come here! First strike, yeah, buddy. Okay. So, so when we change people's, when we change people's um, thingma bobs, when we change their costumes, we get a cutscene of them doing the carnage form. And we're probably gonna see Itsuki's on the next battle we get into. Aerial- wait, 2 SP? Oh, but Aerial Dance hits everybody. Dude, she got a special performance before she got attack magic. That's crazy. Well, whatever. Uh, we're gonna- Yeah! Got him! And then Itsuki finishes it up. Uh... Zio plus one. And then, dude, we got him. And then hopefully Toma can get an alley. Uh, can make this an alley. No, but he can't though. No, he doesn't have. He doesn't have anything that Nickel Wise is weak to. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's do Poison Skewer. Why not? Poison? Okay, cool. I got him with it. When you are afflicted with the status ailment Poison, you will incur damage at the start of the character's turn. Additionally, if an ally remains afflicted with Poison, he or she will continue to incur damage following the battle with every step taken on the field. So it is best to treat him or her with an item or a skill as soon as possible. Uh, and we can go ahead, kill the crap out of Nickel Wise. Yeah. Attack. Oh, it was a critical hit, but it was kind of garbage anyways. Weak! Got him! And it was a critical. Mm, 
cool. Got a lot of stuff. A hand axe, a poison arrow, and a trapward stone. A traport stone? But she got a new skill, actually. That's most important. Zahn. Wow, I did not expect her to be Zahn. But I guess it makes sense. Will this do? Yeah. This is good. Huh. Are there any female Zahn users other than her? And not Garu, because Garu and Zahn are two different elements. Just interchangeable for whatever reason. Obtained perform a Casper Force. Oh, wow! That thing appeared right on top of me, dude! Well, almost right on top of me. And I keep hitting the A button like that's the actual button. Yep. Uh, tactics, nah, dude. We don't need tactics. Uh, we got a bunch of nickel wises. Let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna get these guys. Got him. And uh, it's Toma up next. Dude, he needs something that can hurt these jokers. He's just got lance and fire attacks right now. Poison, though. A physical attack? Eh, Tom's pretty beefy. But we're gonna... Skewer? No. No, they're not... They don't take much from lance attacks. But we're gonna hit him with Zahn, actually. Yeah. And then... Because I want to let Poison finish that off rather than waste time we could be using to kill this thing. Like, now! No, just barely, dude. Uh... Got him! And that other one... Recovered from Poison! Oh my god! Alright. Yeah, you earned it. We got a bead from that. Cool. And a level. Alright, what are we working with, Itsuki? Uh, that's okay. Itsuki Aoi's soul as an entertainer has achieved a new awakening. Really? Oh, stage rank up. Totally missed that. Itsuki's inspiration has taken form as a new performer, Leader's Gaze. A cast member's stage rank signifies his or her rank as an entertainer. It will increase the more he or she participates in combat, including performing longer session chains. As their stage rank increases, they will receive various benefits, such as new performa being born from within them. Some may even grant them greater power. Alright, and same for Tsubasa! Uh, she also got an okay-ish level. Tsubasa Oribe's soul as an entertainer has achieved a new awakening. Tsubasa Oribe's inspiration is taking form as a uh, new performer, Comforts of Home. Sure. Oh! We got a new skill. Sword Blaze. Okay, excellent. So now Toma can actually participate in sessions using swords. Received a topic, uh, no, from Unity. Tsubasa's Radiant Skill ready for Unity. Okay, awesome. So, let's see. And we got a new topic, which is, yep. Itsuki's Radiant Skill ready for Unity. Director Itsuki. Tsubasa's Radiant Skill ready for Unity. Traport. Okay. Well, we're actually not going to worry about that just this moment. We're going to investigate what this is all about. It's a huge Alice in Wonderland thing. There's a giant costume. I think I can get to the other side if I go through the sleeves. What should I do? Let's try going in. Why not? Oh, why not? Kind of pointless just to get to the next section, but whatever. Okay. Oh! What are you I can't hit it? No, I definitely pressed A, actually, instead of X. Uh, gosh heckin' dang. I can't get upstairs anymore. What am I gonna do now? 
I don't think he means any harm. Maybe I should try talking to him. Uh, let's try talking to him. Did someone come this way? I don't know. Maybe I can find something out if I get back upstairs? But I don't know how to get upstairs anymore. Uh... Obtained consumable item lifestone times two. Okay. So, it's... You see that? There's a item box. Received a topic from Tiki. Hmm. It looks like the new Idolosphere is called Illusory 106. Be careful in there, big brother. And then she sends a worried Tiki. All right, well, we definitely don't want Tiki to be worried about us. A little bit. Oh, no. No means no. All right. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to finish this. Oh, no. I'm too late, actually. What do you do? There are three switches on the control board. Which one should I press? Okay, so it's not just a random costume. That's a dungeon puzzle. I didn't think there were gonna be dungeon puzzles. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought that the the pose of that giant costume it seems to be reaching to the mannequin that has lights shining on it. Oh, reaching, reacting. Okay, so we're actually we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna explore the second floor of Illusory 106. That'll be next time though. So join me then. For more Tokyo Mirage sessions, Sharp FE. Bye for now, guys.